Uh, hi, this is uh, Chris Chinock reporting for Display Central. I'm at the Digital Signage Expo, uh, where we've just witnessed the, the keynote uh, speech from Peter Bacco, who's the Chief Technology Officer for Corning Display Technologies, I believe. Corning Cor Glass Technologies. Corning Glass close, Technologies. Close, close enough. Okay, excellent. Um, so there were a lot of actually really good um, uh, points that, that Peter made in, uh, in his talk today. Uh, he showed the Corning, uh, the, a Day in the Glass 2 uh, video, which was produced, I guess, about a year ago. I had actually never seen that, that, that video. I've seen yeah. the first one, of course, yeah. many times. Uh -huh. The second one is actually uh, even, even better yeah. uh, because, uh, as you noted uh, in the video, uh, it now talks more about uh, some medical applications, uh, some education applications. There's an outdoor uh, application. Mm -hmm. A uh, really, really good uh, a video, and what I particularly liked about it um, is not not only does it show the use of glass, but it shows the vision of how glass can be interacted with and the applications. And I think that's one of the key messages that that you were trying to make here is, you know, it's not just the glass; it's all the systems that that go with this, the applications, the interactivity, the collaboration. That's the future. Yes. Um, yeah. So really elaborate was, on that. That was really my, what the, my key point that I brought here to the dig, digital signage exposition uh, is, and this is the right audience because uh, digital signage seems to be the area where they're really taking some big risks in terms of new display technologies, new levels of interactivity, and new value propositions. And so um, I showed the day made of glass uh, is just a way to articulate a future where we are just surrounded and immersed in uh, these displays that are highly interactive, that are actually bringing, uh, that are actually bringing useful information to people in their everyday lives, and actually are bringing people together. And uh, this is a, a kind of like a theme I just keep hammering again and again yeah. and again. The whole point of this technology is not necessarily just to make a better display or to amuse, but right. really uh, for uh, to help us collaborate better and connect uh, better. In, in, in Day Made of Glass, a lot of the use of these advanced displays is really uh, in various people together uh, yeah. using it to interact with, uh, with uh, information. Yeah. There were some really, really good scenes. I really liked the one, the medical uh, scene. Uh, where if you, have to, you have to go take a look at the, the video, by the way, if you haven't seen it. They made a glass two. Yes. They made, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. And, and in the, this, the medical sequence, uh, this, the, the doctor walks into this medical bay, basically. Mm -hmm. It's a big, blank, white wall. And he, and he illuminates the wall lights up. And there are all these medical diagnostics, uh, uh, CAT scans and whatnot. And on the other side of this transparent wall is another doctor that they're interacting with and collaborating. Really cool vision. Yeah, presumably in, in uh, China. And so actually, yeah. you know, it's kind of remote. Uh, remote medicine in that way. And, exactly. and this is what one of the criticisms of the Day Made of Glass 1. Everybody enjoyed it, but they pointed out that, geez, it appeared to be too heavily weighted towards consumerism and also uh, 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 just uh, um, uh, entertainment. Yeah. Okay, so we wanted to show something a little bit more useful. So how could these very realistic, immersive displays be used to actually where it benefits people's uh, people's lives? And I hope we could we could do that. Now the problem is is that um, you know we're working with a number of our customers uh, in the conventional consumer electronics industry uh, to deliver some of these effects, but there really isn't what I would call sufficient momentum uh, to create these really new applications. And this was another point that I made is yeah. that. We're kind of hidebound a little bit with the conventional applications of portable uh, personal information devices like cell phones and slate computers and, and TVs. Yeah. And so there has to be some risk taking to get us out of that, the creation of new applications. And this is going to be not just the glass, it's not just going to be the consumer electronics device manufacturers, but it's really going to be much more of, a, of a, an ecosystem that has yeah. to emerge of uh, both applications and hardware, as yeah. well as the components. I think one of the key reasons that you're at, at the Digital Signage Expo specifically is because y uh, the consumer electronics industry is a little bit challenged uh, financially and economically right now to make these innovations, yeah. but the signage market is potentially more motivated. Yeah, I mean, this I, I, I came to this uh, conference last year, and I was really surprised and gratified uh, to see the size and the, the energy here and also the fact that 
Corning seem to have a, a recognizable brand. Yes. And I'm coming back this year, and frankly, I'm shocked at the amount of growth. And so I wanted to congratulate uh, DSC on its 10th anniversary, and it's uh, a tremendous amount of progress. And um, as I made the point in my talk, uh, digital signage, public displays is going to be the vanguard of uh, yeah. some of our most exciting new technologies and capabilities in, uh, yeah. in this uh, display-centric uh, uh, industry. Great. Well, thank you, you Peter. Okay, Chris. Uh, Chris Chinock reporting for Display Central.